blank tube I made, all from scrap. You can tell that it's all stainless steel, 3 sixteenths, and I rolled it, welded it in the center right here, and I tapered this section right here that goes to the turbo. Right here. Got going on right here. Hooks on right there. And I attached my spark plug right here. Nobody ever, i never seen this. Never seen anybody put a spark plug right here. It seems to work out fine. And uh, you can see on the front right here, I got swirl veins right here on a dome piece I made. I uh, hammered it out and stretched a piece of metal into a dome shape. So you can see it's, it's got a dome look to it. And I swirled the, I took the cutters and a, a Dremel tool and I slit the each section out and I bent it down to get it an angle. So when the air comes in, it swirls, mixes with the fuel. And the fuel goes right through here. And you can tell right here, this is kind of like a cheese grater design on these holes. I, I drilled the holes first like this. And I took a screwdriver about that size of the hole and I heated it up red hot and I bent it down to get that effect right here. So when the air comes in, it's it, it's catching the air much better right here towards the front. These I left normal because I don't really need that much air going through these sections right here, but I do need the air going through the metal section, which is the secondary area. And uh, I just left them flat because I don't need really much dramatic of air catch right here. This dilution area, you can see these tapered. I tapered these holes right here using the, this uh, center device for uh, my lathe. And heated it up really red hot. It was just a standard looking hole like that. I heated it up red hot and I put this right on here and I just gave it a little tap with my hammer. Took it off and then heated it up again. Put it right there and give it a tap again. And then you can see that it's tapered. So it's got a, a nice even flow as the air comes in. It flows very smoothly inside that hole. And then you can see these swir swivel veins I made right here, which you don't really see on homemade gas turbine and jet engines a lot. I mean, I've never seen them online before, rarely. You can see right here, I, I made my own little uh, jig. I don't have it right here right now with me, but I took two flat hits, uh, um, two uh, screwdrivers, welded them together, and I left about a millimeter gap to uh, cut these little strips of stainless steel. And I stuck them in the gap and I bent it, and then pulled it out and flipped it around and bent it until I get the swivel effect right here. And then I created this dome effect right here as I put in this uh, extra external piece of uh, stainless steel right here. Well, uh, tack welded it on the inside of these swivel uh, veins I made. It works really good. You can see in the inside right here, inside that hole right here, you see all the little light connection through those little holes. You can see it's, it's pretty good. It's got a lot of detail to it.